hey guys welcome back it's been a while i didn't post any recipe videos so i thought uh, why don't i share a recipe video today uh last two was my last two recipes was a dessert recipe that, that was a uh, lebanese and second one was a flatun that is uh, a north indian recipe so i thought why don't i share a purely south indian recipe a spicy version uh that is kondatam chicken so these are the kondatam chilies it's actually a uh, sun dried curd chilies and it give a unique flavor in your dish so i will be using these uh, chilies in my recipe you just have to sort in oil and you have to mix with and uh, you will get this uh, chilies in any supermarket indian store you if you ask for kondatam they will give you this chilies so it's easy available in all the supermarkets so why we are waiting for let's start with kondatam chicken it's a spicy version the first thing you have to do is soak the red chilies in vinegar and water vinegar just take little bit of vinegar and just add a little bit of water and soak the red chilies in that and keep it aside if you have kashmiri dry chili you can take half of kashmiri a uh, chili and half of regular uh, it add good color to your dish plus it will be less spicy if you want to make it less spicy here i'm using 500 grams of chicken which is properly washed cleaned and rinsed i will be marinating with basic ingredient that is salt first add salt as per your taste and 1 tablespoon of red chili powder which is normal chili powder here you can substitute with kashmiri chili powder if you don't want much heat then i added freshly grounded pepper 1 teaspoon so this is the basic in basic spice and i'm adding 1 tablespoon of soy sauce next 1 teaspoon of vinegar vinegar make your chicken tangy tender plus moist give a good mix for coating add 1 tablespoon of corn flour then add 2 tablespoon of maida refined flour or you can call white flour give it a good mix this is we are using for coating and for binding we add 1 egg one egg is enough for 500 g so we add one egg and that's it give it a good mix and our marination is done uh, keep it for 1 hour minimum or minimum half an hour or overnight in fridge now our chicken are ready to deep fry or oil in a kadai you can use any oil here a uh, coconut oil or refined oil check the oil if it's hot you are ready to deep fry the oil should be in high flame first then make it low flame because we need a uh, chicken to be cooked from inside add one by one don't overlap it So this is done. Deep frying is done, and it changed the color. It's brown in color, and it's crispy, and it's very moist and um, moist and very soft from inside. This is how we want it. And there's a coating uh, on the top of uh, chicken also. So it's ready to take it out. add the next batch of chicken also same way first in high flame then lower it because we need the chicken should be cooked from inside 
I already had one or two chicken between uh, just to taste but it's very tasty because it's crunch it's crunchy from outside and very soft from inside and all the spice level everything is perfect so our chicken is also done so we move to next part so next what we are going to do is we are going to grind this red chilies which is soaked in vinegar and water take out the red chilies and coarsely grind it not into paste like flakes chili flakes so it's done you can see flakes can be seen or you can make a paste and use ready made chili flakes that also be done but i normally do this way next we need to make a tomato puree only from one tomato just add directly to the mixture and make the puree that's it and keep it aside next is mixing for the last part so add coconut oil if you have coconut oil uh, use only coconut oil because it really make a big difference add condatum uh, chili what i said before add it and salt till it changes color into brown So these are the ingredients we have to sort it. So uh, some of the garlic, 15 to 20 garlics, and little bit of a small piece of ginger. More and more curry leaves, cashews, uh, raisins, and two big chopped onion. So this is all chopped. So first we add ginger garlic, sort it till it changes color into brown. Then add cashew. raisins and curry leaves i love curry leaf flavor so i add keep on adding curry leaves and i added two uh, chopped onions sauté it till it change color into brown or caramelize it you get a good flavor of curry leaves coconut oil and mine is organic coconut oil from my home and the garlic burn garlic flavor cashew and ginger it's really good smell good quickly add red chili flakes what we grinded sorted till the raw smell goes sorted very well see it's changing the color If it's Kashmiri chili, it really looks good. Next, add our tomato puree directly into the garlic and onion mixture, and sort till it leaves its raw smell. It looks good. Next, for more tangy flavor, add two spoons of tomato ketchup. It's purely optional. If you don't like the flavor, don't use it. Omit it. But it really gives a good flavor plus a good color. And next, you add chicken, what we already prepared and kept it, and sort it for at least five to ten minutes. So it infuses all the flavor into it, and little bit become it, it becomes soft. and juicy from inside oh it looks awesome my mouth is totally watering it's really a must try recipe and you can impress your guest you can serve it as a side dish or uh, as a starter or along with um, ghee rice or uh, a uh, side dish of biryani or white rice for chapati it goes well with all the main course it's very tasty
last but not the least the garnishing part we will garnish it with cashews raisins and more and more curry leaves and some dry chilies i eat Fry it till it change the color into brown. Oh wow, it's looking good. Take it out from oil. In garnish on top of our kundatum chicken. So now our cashews, raisins and curry leaves are done. So it's time to garnish. This is actually looking awesome guys, isn't it? The color for the green color, the red color. I didn't add it any color here. It's all from the red chili. Wow. So it's a must try recipe guys. Do try it and and you can do your variation and uh, Give us the feedback through comment how you liked it and did your guests enjoy it? You enjoyed it. So thank you for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe our channel and keep supporting us. Take care and keep loving. Bye.